On today's video, we're talking how to enhance your photos with artificial intelligence in Luminar 4. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron Bowman here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. And today we are doing a tutorial. I haven't done one in a while for Luminar 4. And we're gonna go over some of the features in Luminar 4 that basically can really take your photography to another level without having to do a lot of work. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I don't know exactly how this program works or how the AI does it, but let's jump on the computer and take a look at some examples and see exactly how easy this is. Now, if you want to pick up this program or any of the other equipment that I use or anything like that, it is down in the description. And uh, if you want to contact me, that information also is down there too. So let's get into today's tutorial. All right, so here we are on the computer and uh, if you're following along, just get your uh, Luminar 4 up and running. And I got some photos here from last year at the beach up in York, Maine. And as you can see, we got a picture of one of the kids here on the beach. It's got to look too bad, but let's just take a look at what the AI can do within this program. So we're going to be looking at the AI enhanced and AI structured. So it's really crazy how much it can change just that little bit from being kind of blown out skies to a lot more detail. Then if we add a little structure to it, it even adds more detail to it and it's really kind of crazy how well that works now that seems to be good for a lot of the photos i mean you can be done with it right here again you can go through and you can tweak everything uh, as much as you want one thing i do like especially if i'm doing the real estate photography if there's any foliage is using the landscape enhancer which kind of gives you that golden hour which makes it look like you took it right at sunset. And you can also use the foliage enhancer, which really will make any of the grass in the area green and uh, really doesn't make it look too over the top, which I really like. Now, the other thing, I mean, like, you know, there's a lot of detail in here. It looks really good. Just doing a quick edit with Luminar 4, if you're making thumbnails for YouTube videos or you're doing landscaping or just photography around your friends and family or maybe some street photography this makes the edits super fast especially for somebody like myself that doesn't have time to have a long learning curve and really get into photoshop or lightroom or anything like that this kind of makes it a little bit easier and the one other thing i really like is if you go into the creative tab the sky replacement and i haven't tried it with this photo here yet so let's take a look and see how it comes out so that's the uh, original sky and let's do just a blue sky so there you go it's changed it to a completely different sky and again you can go through and you can really just fine-tune this the way that you want you can even blend out the background of the sky you can defocus it if you want to make it a little more blurry like that which I think is just really cool and if I wanted to do something a little more dramatic, maybe a little bit brighter of a blue sky, you could do something like that. Or another one here, a little more dramatic like that. So, so far it's been working pretty good on most of the photos. Now, the other one I want to take a look at here is a drone shot of the beach that we were on. And kind of show you what the AI and sky replacement does for that. Now, there's some other things you can add sun rays and dramatic looks to it but we're talking really just quick and easy using this program letting the ai do the work for you especially if you're a newer photographer and you might have taken a photo that was washed out or maybe you want to do a little black and white or just an you know an artistic portrait you can use all the presets here in luminar that it comes with and you can make your own which i've done another video on and i will link in the description so here you go with just the ai enhance now this one here will let us do the sky enhance and you'll see how that works. So if you don't want to completely replace the sky, you can just use that. So there you go with just a little bit of the enhance, brings up a little bit more of the blue in the water, the green, really makes that sky stand out. Now if I bring up the sky enhancer a little bit, what it does is it really brings those blues out. So that's the AI enhancer. And then we have the AI structure and if we just want to add a little more structure to this, we can bring it up with that 
And I mean, that photo looks pretty good compared to what it was. I mean, it definitely is something that you could print out, have it at home, use it if you were doing some type of aerial photography for uh, a real estate photo. And then again, you, you know, you can obviously go through and enhance this a little bit more than what it is. And again, let's say you took the, the shot and the sky was kind of washed out and you need to do that sky replacement. You can, you can go for a uh, blue sky three here, put that right in there. And then, you know, maybe we want to add just, uh, you know, some sun rays, which I think is really kind of cool. So when you hit this place, sun center, this is where the sun's going to be coming from. And then you can put the amount of the sun rays coming in, the look, the penetration, everything like that, warm it up. And that will give you a look of the sun coming through, which is completely different from that picture you had took originally. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I really just wanted to go over the uh, AI enhancement and the AI structure and how fast you can actually edit a photo with the new Luminar 4. As always, comment down below, leave some links to some of the photos that you've edited with this software, and uh, let me know what you think. All right, as you can see, it is super simple to use Luminar 4. Um, I had it at Luminar 3, I just love Luminar 4. Now again, this could be a standalone platform for you, or you can use it in a plugin in Lightroom or Photoshop. For me, I use it pretty much as a standalone platform, because uh, I mainly do real estate photography for my team, and just, snapshots of the fam so let me know what you think down below is this something that you think you could use do you think it's pretty cool you know kind of let me know what you think about it i'd love to hear your comments and if you have edited any photos with it link that down below also i'd love to check those out so thanks again for watching really digging this light coming in from the window right here and uh we'll see you in the next video